The Palace campaign, it's um, public parkland which we've squatted and which we, we, we're defending for nine months, nearly ten months now. Um, basically what they want to do, the Bromley Council want to build an 18 screen cinema on it, a part, top of a parkland, 15 acres. Um, the local residents don't want it. I've met ten people in nearly ten months who actually don't want this, who actually want this cinema, and the rest of them don't want it. Uh, Bromley Council are just going to sell the land for six million pound. Multiplex cinema comes up. You know, I mean, it's a large. It's going to be a large multiplex. Um, you're going to have an extra ninety thousand visitors a week. The traffic congestion up here is already disgusting anyway. Um, and we're just we're just trying to get in Bromley's face and wake people up and say you can't keep doing this to public space. And there's roughly 25 to 30 on and off. It's quite hard because you've got people coming and going all the time. It's quite hard to uh, yeah. to know exactly how many people up here. But it's good. An eviction scare, and then more people turn up each time there's an eviction scare. Last time we had nearly sort of 100 people on site, and yeah. then locals outside sort of supporting us and that. So when evictions coming, there will be sort of more people. We will know when it's going to come. Um, it's mainly scaffolding and sort of. It's basically a scaffold tower with sides on it and there's platforms etc inside and the platforms we try to make as much as possible out of steel and stuff and basically it's a good defence because it looks dodgy and climbers aren't going to like going up it and when the eviction comes there's four different levels on there and there'll be people locked on at each level. Um, I don't know actually this, this, which type of species are going to um actually living on this site but we've got I know for once we've got kestrels we've got a couple of nests of kestrels um, and if you just look around there's, there's just loads of bushes it's regenerating itself after being left alone for 40 50 years so do you know I mean there's, there's the, the wildlife is getting more and more and more and it's just regenerating itself so more more wildlife are coming inside and coming into the land and just regenerating so there's these loads there's endangered butterflies I don't know the names but um, there's, there's a lot of wildlife here We've got, got a fox nest at the back as well, you know, we've, um, just, just more and more each time. If you get the more and more it's left alone, the more and more the wildlife will take over and put it back to what it was hundreds of years ago. This is this is one of our expert climbers. So he's walking a walkway. So you get from one state to the next. Uh, it's the only trees on site that we can walk way up our walkway up. Um, you can get from one end of the site to the other. Just, just by doing that. Just by doing that. Yeah. So, so we've got an avenue of trees on the outside according which you can walk way right. You can, we've, we've, we can go right basically. And uh, maybe from one end, um, let me see. There's another avenue of trees which you can get out to out to the cordon, which goes to where they are, because right. they've compounded right. off an old Victorian subway. We can get right above them and look inside their cordon, which they've been blocking off. There's a Victorian subway on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they've uh, they blocked it off, so we can't squat it. But we can walk right over and have a look what they're up to. Right. Local newspapers, the South London Press, have been brilliant. Yeah, they, they, they've made stories out of just day-to-day -day living on site. You've been getting TV coverage and that as well. Yeah, we've got Channel 4, they, um, a programme called Beg to Differ. They, they, he's filming over there now. <laughs> they came over um, and they'd done a programme and that turned out really well. That was um, about um, people who live an alternative lifestyle and stuff over Christmas time and what they do. And that's, that's really turned out good. So it's, it's not been that bad press and, and TV really. I think the press in general for all sites though, they are becoming more supportive now than they were a few years ago. Mm. It's just, there always seems to be something about it in the papers and it's not always bad now. Mm. Every day now. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. think it, it, we've, we've heard rumours for tomorrow as well, um, but we're not too sure. We've had, we've had rumours for like for the last month.
<laughs> been on edge for the last month thinking like they're gonna come in and we're all like you know what I mean? <coughs> if you're gonna come come because we've been here so long do you know what I mean? and we, if they come in tomorrow with Eddie everything's it's just a case of what we're doing now just, just building new things now, and thinking of new things to do right. but we're, we're ready for them and the lock-ons are kind of beer barrels or oil drums or whatever full of concrete with a drain pipe you can put your hand into and then clip yourself onto it. Every defence here will be full up once the eviction actually comes, be it going up trees or underground or in the towers. We've got lock-ons just on the ground that people can just sort of sit there just at ground level and lock themselves onto. But even that, it's going to take the bailiffs a few hours to get them out of that. And each person they've got to spend a few hours on gives the people in the more serious defences even longer. Babylon! Babylon, please! Fuck off! You get, you get a few minor injuries, do you know what I mean? But that's just down, that's down to people thinking they're overconfident yeah. and they know what they're doing. Like, do you know what I mean? Sometimes I've, I've had minor accidents over time, right. thinking, oh, well, I've been doing it for so long, I know what I'm doing, yeah. and then just forgetting about something right. and just sort of injuring myself. But not, not really, no. Yeah. No, because, you know what I mean? You don't want to die, do you? So, you know. So, no, not really. It's more, the more injuries you get is an eviction, and the bailiffs don't care about you. And they try and, uh, I saw one instance up in Kingston when we went for an eviction. Um, they tried to put a body harness on somebody, and you can't put a body harness on somebody who doesn't want one. And they belayed them down about 30 foot, and the time he got to the ground, the harness was on his knees, so basically he was hanging upside down. So, um, they caused the most accidents.